at Burr. And I'm Shelley Kirk. It was a solemn farewell for firefighter Robert Doerr. His funeral comes less than a week after he was shot and killed outside his home. But there's little closure now with no arrests. Eyewitness News' Amelia Young covers today's service and is in the newsroom with the story. Amelia? Little did Robbie Doerr know that when he put on his firefighter's badge in 1991, the effect he would have on those around him and his community. Today, many gather to grieve his death and celebrate the life they lived with him. This is a heavy weight and a heavy burden. Friends, family, and firefighters that were like brothers said their goodbyes to a man they loved. He was a good man, a good friend. The great son and great father. Goodbyes after 51-year-old Evansville firefighter Robbie Doerr was fatally shot outside his home last week. The service today in no way will fully be right or have the fullest length of time and respect to honor Robbie. Doerr served the department for 27 years. When Robbie took his place on August 5, 1991, in the ranks of the Evansville Fire Department and put on his firefighter's badge. He knew that he had become a man set apart. And every day, Fire Chief Mike Connolly says he performed predictably, reliably, and with professionalism. His legacy of integrity is what the foundation of the fire department is built upon. But as the department mourns, District Chief Mike Dickinson says they must continue on. So to Robbie's brothers and sisters, especially Station One, We'll be back at work tomorrow doing this thing we love, partly because that's what Robbie would want and partly because that's how we cope. Giving Dor one last order. You know how I love to give orders, and I know how you love to take them. Take a break, young man. You deserve it. Rest easy, brother. We'll take it from here. And one last alarm to signify a completion of his duties. Now Robbie has completed his task. His duties are done. He has given his best. For our brother and friend, his last alarm, he is going home. Dorr was shot to death outside his Oakley Street home last week. The investigation into his murder continues. Police say they still have no suspects in the case. In the newsroom, Amelia Young, Eyewitness News.